I've written a series of two books with a co-author, Dr. Terry Grossman, who's a complementary physician, complementary medicine physician in Denver. Uh, the first book was Fantastic Voyage, Live Long Enough to Live Forever, and we, we just came out with a book today called Transcend, Nine Steps to Living Well Forever. And we described three bridges to radical life extension, to dramatic extensions in human longevity. Bridge one is what you can do right now. Uh, and most of the book describes that process. And it's a personalized approach. So other people would necessarily want to do exactly what I do, but they want to follow the same methodology, which is to find out what your health challenges are. So, I mean, I was diagnosed 25 years ago at the age of 35 with type 2 diabetes, so I have a genetic tendency to type 2 diabetes. I overcame it with this approach. I have a genetic tendency to heart disease. My father died uh, when he was 58 of heart disease. Uh, I've overcome that with this approach, but other people may have different issues. And so it's not a one-size-fits-all. But it does mean being aggressive in overcoming whatever your genetic tendencies are. And you really can overcome just about any genetic tendency. Uh, in particular, heart disease and diabetes are very amenable to lifestyle approaches, supplements. I take a lot of supplements because we do need to reprogram our biochemistry. Our, our biochemistry just naturally was evolved to live to you know, 23 and then start aging and die shortly thereafter. I and mean, that was really a good idea a thousand years ago. So we really need to, to change our biochemistry to stay young. Uh, I'll give you just one example that's actually a good idea for anyone that's not well known. 90% of the cell membrane in a 10-year-old is a substance called phosphatidylcholine. That depletes, and by the time you're 90, it's down to 10%. And it, so the cell membrane gets fit, filled in with inert substances like cholesterol and, and hard fats, and that's why the skin becomes brittle, and the skin sags in an elderly person and is not supple, and the or, your organs don't work as well. That's an aging process. Aging is not one thing. It's a dozen different processes, and I've just described one of them. That one you can reverse very easily by supplementing with that substance, phosphatidylcholine. There are other aging processes that are more complex, like the clogging up of your arteries with plaque. It's called atherosclerosis. That's more complicated. You need to control your cholesterol, your triglycerides, your C-reactive protein, but each uh, your homocysteine. But each of those things is doable, depending on your own biochemistry. So you need to assess that. And then we describe in the book how you can develop a personalized program. And it gets more complicated, shall we say, as you get older. If you're in good health and you're 23, uh, you just need to eat a good diet and exercise and take a few basic supplements. As you get older, these aging processes uh, speed up, actually, exponentially. Uh, but you really can overcome these, these processes. Uh, when I was 40, I came out at 38 on biological aging tests. I'm now 61, and I come out close to 40 only aged two or three years in the last 20 years. Uh, so that really is feasible. Now, I take a lot of supplements. I eat a certain diet. I exercise. Uh, I take about 150 pills a day. And people say, well, Ray, you really think taking all these pills is going to enable you to live hundreds of years? No. The point of this whole program, Bridge 1, is just to get to Bridge 2. Uh, bridge 2 is the full flowering of this biotechnology revolution where we will have far more powerful methods to really reprogram our genes away from aging and away from disease. And that's about 15 or 20 years away. So the whole point of Bridge 1 is to, is to get to that point in good health. And it's not a point that we'll do this, I'll do this for 15 years and nothing will happen and suddenly we'll have the whole thing. I mean, every year, in fact, it's almost every day, new developments come out already. Uh, from this biotechnology revolution. But 15 years from now, it will we'll be a very mature technology and we'll have a much easier time of slowing down, stopping, and even reversing these aging and disease processes. That's bridge two, and that'll bring us to bridge three, maybe 25 years from now, the nanotechnology revolution, where we can have billions of nanobots keeping us healthy at the level of every cell in our body uh, and will go in our brains and extend our brains, enable us to back up ultimately the information in our brains. Uh, those technologies will ultimately give us uh, very dramatic extensions to our longevity.